So how do you Playing. go about helping someone like Niall then when they're not getting the time to go to the range and putting the hard yards? How does he go about working on the stuff that you would work on with him? Well, I mean, that, yeah, that's a great question is because the thing is, it depends on what you want, right? So if you're my dad, you just want to go play 18 holes because you enjoy walking and being outside. Mm -hmm. But knowing Niall, he doesn't do anything half. right? Oh, no. Like he's a pro. So he's probably going to want to get better and better and better. So he's on the road. Mm. He gets into his hotel room. He gives me 30 minutes a night, three days a week, and sits there and works on those wrist angles in mm. front of that mirror, then goes out and just plays. Because the, th the thing about practice, right, that people need to understand, we don't practice to feel better, we practice to get better. And in my estimation in life, like getting better doesn't feel very good sometimes. No, it right? sucks actually. Well, like going to the gym is like, it's the worst yeah. thing, but it's obviously good for you. So that's how you would break it, you would break it down, or I would tell him, mm is just to make sure with what he's doing that he doesn't get aimed right with the ball way up in his stance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's going to make him do more. Yeah, more of the So when he goes to the range to practice, he now sets up a little bit to where the torso gets this way on top of the lower body. Mm. So he's already preset some of these some of these things and can be part of some of the issue with where your soreness is. Mm -hmm. So having him set up to where this supports rotation a lot more than that does, right? Okay. So he's going to get his arms across his chest. So as he sets up, he would be there. Then I would have him play it back slightly in his stance and, and try and get him to hit draws. Where is the, where's the weight? So set up if you're for, set so, like that, where's the weight? Well, so set up for me. So just go totally Nile neutral, where you feel normal, right? Okay, so wh what do you feel as far as pressure? Not weight, but pressure. So say this is 100%, mm -hmm. is it 50-50, is it 60-40, is it 60-40? Yeah, I would say I was pretty neutral. About 50-50, right? That's probably the problem, but I've well, heard that it, a lot. Well, the, the thing is, is like, I've worked with Swing Catalyst for six or seven years, and Swing Catalyst are a force plate company. Yeah. And so what we'll see when we measure pro golfers is they're anywhere from 60% to 70% on their left leg. Mm -hmm. And so people think of stack and tilt when they hear that. Yeah. And some of that is true, right? I mean, there's yeah. some very good stuff in, that, in those theories. But the idea is that if I'm going to transfer my weight into my right foot, I'm gonna push off my left to go right. Yeah. So sometimes if I start 50-50, for me, for Niall, if you set up there, mm -hmm. so tell me when you're ready. So if I'm able from here, I'd, I'd like to get Niall's pelvis a little bit more this way. See, now you probably feel 60-40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got right? to push off. But the, well, of course, mm -hmm. but the funny thing too is when you look here, because this beautiful Nike shirt has this seam that comes right down the back. Right. Whereas he gets very easily this way, yeah, right. okay, mm -hmm. and that's not good there, right? Yeah, exactly. Set up again. <laughs> yeah, so same side. It's, this is going to be the same thing. As you push forward, shift the hips a little more, there. Yeah. Now, the thing is his upper body is more behind the ball, which is going to help his turn, but the pressure is there. So when I'm skiing and I want to turn this way, I yeah. have to put an outward force on that ski. Okay. So mm -hmm. setting up kind of now there yeah. versus being more here, and it's about, it's about pressure. Yeah. It's about pressure on the ground. Well, let's see, uh, we're gonna put that into practice. You've got to absorb that information now. How far do you, what club's this, Nathan? These aren't your clubs, these are Sky's clubs. Yeah. Uh, what, how far do you hit your eight time? About 140 or so. 140, it's into the breed. So what we, we'll see how it good is the distance strong, control is. How far are you saying we're gonna track it with Top Tracer? <laughs> what do you reckon, 120-ish? In that, into that 125 breeze. maybe. Okay. So I I'd, I'd like to see the ball for this shot, the ball back in the stance a little bit more. Okay. And then with that hip move forward, so push it forward for me. There you go. I'd like to see you try and hit like a mid trajectory draw. Never hit a draw in my life. Okay. Go for it. Good time to start, mate. <laughs> You drew, but you, the wrong side of it. You, uh, <laughs> right. you're, you're a couple inches back of the ball where you make contact, but that's the thing, it's hard to make changes, right? Yeah, it is. Well, th yeah, th it, it's, uh, it, I feel like it more as evolution than change, right? Change would be if we made him left-handed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go on, one more. One more, mate. That nice. Bad. Are we going to get a number there in my ear? That's going to be short. That was high. Oh, how far did you say? 125? Yeah. 122. Ooh. That's not bad. 122 for Horrid. Hey? <laughs> Any good. Harry, considering 
how much you put into your football and how good you are. You clearly don't get to play, play a lot of golf. You would think, but you play off four. It's a bit embarrassing because the rest of the team probably thinking should be practicing his football, really. That's true, that's true. Um, now, brilliant, amazing to see that you play golf to the standard. I've seen you hit a couple of shots in here when you first arrived. Um, how much time do you actually get to play golf, though? Yeah, not a lot, to be fair. Uh, with, our, with Spurs and the Premier League, the schedule's so busy, uh, midweek games and stuff like that. So I'll be lucky if I get to play once a month, to be fair. So in the summer, I try and play as much as, much as possible. So uh, yeah, this time I normally abroad somewhere, but the missus is due any day now, so uh, hoping I don't get a phone call whilst I'm, <laughs> whilst I'm here. But uh, yeah, just making the most of it. Yeah, I've been away for a month and now I'm going up to watch the Open. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I could see the disappointment in their face. You play once a month and you play off four. There's lots of Scotsmen <laughs> and they already don't like you for golf reasons now as well. <laughs> yeah. um, let's move on to the golf though, because okay. the pressure of, well, we saw you tuck away a few cracking pens while you're out there. That's individual stuff. This is individual stuff. You're going to take the 99-yard challenge. I'm How nerve-wracking is that? It's going to be a bit. I've just had a decent warm-up, but golf's a totally different sport, obviously. So uh, when the nerves start jangling, there could be a few shanks, but hopefully there not. There won't be. There hopefully won't not. be. You got this, Harry. Just take a look at what you've got to beat back there. Tim Henman's leading the way there, 97.5. That's pretty good in a 99-yard challenge. Of course, you could always try and beat the pros as well. Eddie Pepperell leads the way, just 0.4 of a yard out. Okay. So, talk us through, what have you got? I got 56, the three wedge sandwich. Um, yeah, wind off, off the right. So just. Oh, he's to, really getting into the detail here. Yeah. See this? It's great. I've been, I've been watching YouTube. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Let's do it, Harry. So, Come on, right. let's see it, mate. All right, let's go. One chance only. Only one. Only one. You wouldn't ask for two goes from the spot, would you? No, it's true. Okay. <laughs> Go on. How did it feel? That didn't look too yeah. bad, you know. Not the oh, greatest, not right? bad. Not bad at all. T muted sort of response <laughs> there. Um, I beat Jordan, so... 91.9. You did beat Jordan. I've got the... What are you, the 80? Just, here we go. This is where you're going, Harry. You're above the Celtic captain. Ah, oh, there you go. Here you go, here you go. <laughs> Lee is at. <laughs> I saw that. Um, so come on, talk me through what the key is then. Right, for, the key thing is, is this. This is. I'll just teach you the basics because you okay. look like a novice. Yeah. The idea is you get the ball. That's the white one. Stick yeah. it on the tee. Yeah. Make sure it doesn't fall off, otherwise you look ridiculous. You put yeah. this thing, which is called a stick. <laughs> you put it behind the ball like that. You keep your feet as close as you can together. Close your eyes and dream. Okay. So Let's you, see how that works see, out. I, put, then. I remember from my Jack Nicholas book. In the early 80s. Oh, yeah. Jack Nicholas? Was that yeah. The Shining? Oh, that's Jack Nicholas. No. <laughs> Jack Nicholson. No, Jack Nicholas, that's right. You're the only man who could get away with the saying that. The white ball there on the inside of the foot, I believe, for the driver. Yes. That's it. And Golf then, My Way, I believe, is the book you're talking about. I think it was Golf yeah, My Way, yeah. yes. And you obviously you, didn't read it very and then well. You, and then you, sl you slightly bend your knees, but not too much. Right, OK. You imagine, what you do is you imagine that you're in... You know when you go, used to go abroad in the 80s and they didn't use proper toilets, just a hole in the ground? <laughs> so you sort of do that. That's what you do. You keep your left arm straight, you put this one over there, with you put your thumb under there, right. and you point that little bit to your left shoulder. Right, The, 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 the crease between your thumb and your finger yeah, to your you, left shoulder. You, you've got the wrong shoulder, but that's fine. Go ahead. Have I? Yeah, you have, but that's fine. No, it looks good you on you. You point to that shoulder? Yeah, that, that, yeah I'll All go right, for that then. one. OK, we'll do it your way if you want, and then you... Don't miss it, Lee. I will. I'm not going to... I'm going to whack this really hard. This is another technique, yeah? Go on. Oh, very good. That's all right, wasn't it? I was aiming over very there, to good. be fair. But... That's just about made its way onto Hillside. Lee, thanks so much. Great to learn something from a man who knows how to do it. Lee Mack. How you doing? Come from a different discipline. How excited do you get about watching top players in the world play golf? I, do, I love golf anyway. My, my young boy, Rocco, he plays every... He has lessons twice a week. I'm getting him into it. But mainly because I, I like walking around in the, in the sunshine. What sort of standard are you? What handicap? <clears throat> I'm not bad. I play off 18 at the minute. Yeah, I've brought good. it down from like 26, 27. I just want to be able to get round respectively without being left out by my big brother. So. Did you play when you were fighting? A little bit, not much. I played more tennis. Right, yeah, OK. I played a bit more tennis, but I'm getting into golf now. Good. I'm starting right. to relax into it. It's good to have you. And we're going to put you on the spot here as well because we're going to get you to do our 99-yard challenge. You look behind you there, you can see all the guys that have participated so far. So many of the top players in the game. Jordan Pickford, 
85.6 yards. He's at the bottom at the moment, but coming outside of golf, pretty good effort. Yeah. That's what you've got to beat. That's well, what you've got to do. I've got to so beat my boss. This is it. That's what I've got to beat. You can do it. What have we got here? A little, little chippy 9-9. Nine -nine. We've got a 9 because we've got a bit of headwind. OK. The drum roll. Oh, it's sliced it to the right. It's a bit, it's a bit right. It's, it's, in fact, it's uh, you only get Out one go. Let's see how far it's gone though. If it doesn't, 110. So it's a little long. I should but have picked the pitching wedge up. It's a little long. You said there's a strong headwind. It was. You lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so. Oh, you're like this. What's the total here? One one zero point four C. The great thing for you is you've got nothing to lose because there's so many top players on there. And you are better than Ian Poulter, Matthew Southgate, and the barn rat, Affy Barn rat. This I'll is take where that. you sit right now. Yeah, that's below not bad. David Hal. Satisfied with that? Yes, yeah, 10 yards out. All I'm gonna say is it's just well, you're a great fighter. <laughs> Thanks for coming to see us. Pleasure, pleasure. Who are you playing with today and what are you most looking forward to? I'm playing with Danny Willett, um, Robbie Fowler and Kenny Dougalese. So, you know, legends all round. So just, just looking forward to having a good day. It's a beautiful day, probably the last day like this of the summer. And um, perfect time to get out. Well, let us have a look at what they'll be watching today alongside you. Uh, a lefty as well. So um, what club have we got here, mate? This is a wedge. What is it, sorry? Wedge. A pitching wedge, OK. Let's go for it. Let's have a look. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Yeah, a little bit thin. Look Still at the, the perfectionist, <laughs> always. Are you happy with that? I'm quite happy with that. I'll settle for that. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm going to make you hit it again. <laughs> okay. um, you've come from a club where you get to play a lot with all of the top players. You know, you've Francesco Molinari is at your club as well. Ross Fisher, Oliver Wilson, who just won on the Challenge Tour the other day. So many great players. Monty's been there as well. Um, what, you get to play with them a lot. What's the thing that stands out for you the most, the difference between the top professionals in the game and your average weekend warrior? Well, I think as well, when you see the boys kind of down there, like the Molinaris, he kind of goes there with obviously the range. He goes at the end of the range, he gets in his own and he's really kind of concentrated. It's not just for like an hour or two hours. He's there kind of morning, afternoon, kind of late, late evenings as well. And, and when you see that dedication, obviously from the football side of it, that's been natural. It's been my environment. But when you go into these guys and see how well they strike the ball, you know, there's no, no kind of uh, parallel to that because the the hard work and dedication they put in. And you're playing with a couple of Liverpool legends today. How competitive will that be in a golfing sense? Yeah, well, Chelsea versus Liverpool. I'm kind of outnumbered, but um, <laughs> I think Kenny's very good. I think he's playing every every day. I think and he's off six, and Robbie's off of ten. So yeah, I'm sure it'll be a good game. I think Kenny's got eyes on the seniors tour. <laughs> um, let's just see one more then before we let you go. Just show everyone it wasn't a bit of luck there, John. Without drawing it onto the flag. I mean, they might clap. Oh, there you go, there you go. Oh, right by the flag. Got to be happy with that. I'm delighted with that. Has that made your day? That's made my day. I can go home now, thank you. Thanks for coming in to see us, John. Cheers, mate, thank you.